Okay, so let's start. So hi everyone. Uh, I hope that you you spend a good time during the break. So uh, Diego join us to present the need to change our innovation process. And as I said before the break, uh, we must innovate to avoid doom technology or minimize it. So I will present uh, Diego's slide. So Diego, do not hesitate to tell me when I need to move on slide and give me a few seconds to share my screen. Okay. So it should be okay. It should be okay. You can start. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for the invitation to this uh, happy days uh, uh, workshops, and um, I'm very happy here to to present uh, uh, my work and the work that uh, I'm conducting with uh, my fellows at Origins Media Lab, the research lab on uh, the Anthropocene climate change that uh, uh, is in Clermont-Ferrand in France. Uh, I'm professor too at uh, Groupe ESA Clermont Business School. And uh, what I would like to present today is a methodology, uh, a framework in order to align our organizations, our innovations uh, into the planetary boundaries uh, with a conceptual proposition, but also with a methodological one uh, based on desinnovation and desincubation, um, which are two concepts that we think are really important to address uh, our ecological and climatic uh, problems uh, that have been uh, very well uh, presented before by uh, Selena. So, I, so um, the, the the project that I conduct with Alexandre Monin in uh, in Clermont-Ferrand and, and Emmanuel Bonnet is called a Closing Worlds uh, Initiative, and uh, the purpose is to um, to suggest to to the to the world of business, to the world of innovation, to the world of technology, a new framework which is the con the, the main concept of ecological redirection. Uh, giving the sense to ecological redirection, which is a, a concept inspired by the, the, the designer, the Australian designer, Tony Fry, and of course, uh, aligned with uh, the work of Bruno Latour on uh, landing operations uh, facing the Anthropocene. And uh, what I would like to, to, to demonstrate today is that uh, we need to shift uh, uh, I, 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 following, of course, the, the, the concept of shifting, of transforming our uh, productive uh, paradigm from a, an ecological transition pra paradigm into an ecological redirection paradigm, which is the main concept that we try to, to suggest uh, to the world. So, um, of course, uh, these uh, ecological redirections uh, is now applied to the world of technology, to the world of, of innovation. Uh, um, uh, and uh, that's why uh, I think we need to create a very interesting, uh, very important um, uh, debate on uh, technology and planetary boundaries. So please, Nicolas, the next uh, next slide. Uh, I, so I, I would like to start with this uh, with, with this image, with this photography from where I come. I, I come from uh, from Bolivia, where the collapse of the Andes uh, has begun uh, several years ago, and of course uh, this experience of a, an end, a concrete end of the world, because uh, a lot of cosmologies there depend on mountains, depend on on uh, these critical mountains, is is very 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 crucial to understand the uh, ecological situation. Of course, next slide, please. Um, and then, of course, uh, today, uh, these phenomena, these collapsing uh, effects of climate change is now um, uh, coming to the Western countries, is coming to, to France, to Europe. And here, for example, you have an article about the, the Mont Blanc, which is the main, uh, main mountain here in, in, in France and, and in Europe, that is collapsing, concreting collapsing uh, today. So the, 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 the climatic uh, situation, I'm not going to come back on, on these features that have been really well demonstrated by, by Celine, is really, really radical and really critical. 
And of course, facing to that, next uh, slide, please, there is a very uh, intuitive and naive uh, reflection, uh, which is uh, that the, um, the, 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 there is a, a problem about an imaginary on what is going to happen on the future. And of course, there we, we can notice uh, from a very realistic point of view, that there is a competition between two imaginaries on what is the future, what will be the future, what should be the future. On one side, of course, you have all the narratives from the tech industry, from uh, industry, uh, um, from artificial intelligence, from uh, innovation world, from start startups, from smart cities, uh, communities, from the the people that try to to implement the 5G uh, network, uh, for example, here in France, the web of um, of things, of course, uh, uh, and so on. And on the other side, you have another narrative that we try to to really uh, 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 completely um, an uh, analyze, which is the narrative from uh, climatologists, from geomorphologists, from earth system scientists, oceanographers, and so on, that are now uh, tr massively trying to demonstrate that our uh, ecological system is become is surpassing a, a, a tipping point and uh, this will lead to radical collapses of our milieu of our ecological systems and of course uh, finally uh, to our habitability as human beings on uh, the planet so uh, these both two conceptions are now competing from a perspective of their the narratives that they suggest and uh, uh, of course next slide please uh, Nicola. Um, the 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 main uh, simple and naive answer to this is to to say don't panic because we have a very conceptual solution which is the sustainability framework the sustainable development uh, framework and of course the concept of ecological transition on one side there is a here an error we have the web of things for example and the chakaltaya mountain that i showed in the first uh, in the first slide uh, and of course this this reconciliation this conciliation between both uh, narratives will be possible thanks to ecological transition to ecological and and especially energetical transitioning because in this conception, we have a problem of means, a problem of uh, energetical means. Uh, next slide, please. Um, so the problem with the, this conciliation uh, paradigm is that uh, it, it is based on several implicit hypotheses that are now uh, very uh, critically uh, addressed by several uh, intellectuals, several uh, scientific uh, members of, uh, of communities from several, here again, uh, disciplines. And uh, for, the, for example, I, here I, I, I have summarized four uh, implicit hypotheses that we find in all the paradigm of uh, transition ecological transition and, and, and sustainable development and so on. The first one is based on the fact that sources of energy production, especially, are going to finally substitute the fossil uh, uh, carbon ones, carbonized ones. Uh, this means that, in fact, we have a very strong belief that, uh, in fact, uh, sources of energy, and especially alternative and uh, renewable energies are going to substitute the fossil and carbon ones. And here there is a huge controversy about this, because if you see on the next uh, on the next um, uh, slide, uh, please, uh, Nicolas, and then we are going to come back to to this one, uh, and the next one, please, uh, again. Um, you have this kind of, of graphical uh, 
uh, instruments, graphical representations that show that, in fact, since uh, the beginning of the of the century, we do not have an ecological transition. Uh, every single uh, source of energy tend to coexist with the others. Uh, and, and for example, if we, we take our consumption of oil today, uh, this consumption of oil never ha has never been so huge in the in the history of our industrial um, uh, uh, countries. Okay. So uh, let's back, please, to the to the uh, the other one. Uh, the, so this source of uh, of energy production are going to finally substitute is a is a controversial narrative. So it, I think it's we are not sure about this. Secondly, there is another implicit hypothesis, which is based on the, the fact that energy economies are going to succeed over a higher level of energy demand. And here, uh, of course, this, uh, this is the main argument of uh, the 5G uh, deploying um, the politics in, in France now, for example, where the main argument is to say, if we change the, the 5G, uh, if we change the 4G and we install the, 4, the 5G, we are going to have very important energetical economies uh, at, at the margin, especially. And the, the problem is, is very well um, documented now on uh, what we call, and the shift uses a lot this kind of uh, concept, uh, a lot of uh, rebounds effects. And, and, and what happens there is the fact that even if, of course, technologies and new techs are more efficient from an, a, an, a, from the, the, the perspective of energetical consumption, the, the fact is that we, we are deploying new paradigms of demand, of consumption demands, new quantitative uh, um, demands that are going, in fact, to overlap the uh, energetical economies that we are creating on the other side. So here, this this point is very well here again documented by economists, engineers working on, on energetical issues, and of course is one uh, of the limits to this implicit narrative about ecological uh, transitioning. Uh, the third one is a very important myth that is uh, that has been in, introduced in the world of technology, innovation, management by economists, and which is based on the on the assumption that positive externalities can compensate our negative ones. But uh, here the problem is that, of course, from an ecologic, uh, from an economist point of view, uh, externalities, positive externalities and negative externalities, for example, to pollute. To our, or to uh, uh, to put a lot of uh, CO2 emissions on, on the atmosphere can be compensated by planting uh, trees uh, in Brazil, for example. The, the problem is that is that for biologists, for ecologists working, for example, on, on forest conservation or, or, or whatever, uh, it, it's not the case because between extra positive externalities and negative ones, there is a difference of uh, nature and not a difference of uh, intensity, uh, which is the main assumption from the economist's point of view. Uh, so in this case, of course, we cannot compensate correctly our negative impacts. And finally, there is a fourth and, and final uh, uh, hypothesis, implicit hypothesis, which is that, uh, in fact, we need just only a time for energy transition. Uh, it's it's a, just a matter of time. And here we can uh, show, uh, please, the, the next and the, the two or three next uh, um, slide. Uh, please, Nicolas. Uh, Again, there, yeah. And uh, this uh, study uh, conducted by, uh, no, just before, uh, please, uh, the, the table one. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, there is a study that has been conducted by the, by Er Caldeira and, and all the team, uh, all its, its team in, in the MIT, where he demonstrated, uh, the, this team demonstrated that in fact, at our current rate, of transitioning, of energetical transitioning, we need 363 years to do the transition, to complete the transition. Uh, 
And for example, uh, of course, if we if we uh, hear uh, our uh, commitments with uh, the COP21 uh, climate change uh, decisions, uh, we need, in fact, to complete this um, this transition in 30, maybe uh, maybe 20 years in, in some times, if we want really to address the climatic uh, problems and the pro climatic uh, issues, of course. So here we have two temporalities that are, in fact, now competing of course, uh, if we uh, follow the transitioning framework, we need to 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 concrete uh, um, put a very uh, different way of uh, investing in renewable or other energies. And Caldera says, for example, if you want to complete la now very urgently, uh, rapidly uh, the the ecological transition, we should need to create one nu nuclear plant every three years in order to achieve our goals uh, if we follow the ecological transitioning uh, framework. So, um, given all, all this information, of course, we can see that uh, uh, all the paradigm of conciliation that is behind the concept of ecological transitioning, uh, behind the concept of uh, sustainable development, the paradigm of conciliation, in fact, uh, finally, uh, is not uh, useful. is 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 now really critical, tricky, critically uh, challenged by several uh, uh, economists, uh, uh, scientists, climatologists, and, and and so on. And uh, please next. Um, and and this comes to uh, our uh, our. Uh, conceptualization that we try to, to to put on the table and which is inspired by a concept uh, um, uh, coined by Jose Alois, which is a physician from 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 the University of Paris and uh, and and he 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 uses a very interesting uh, concept of zombies technologies uh, and what is so zombies technologies in this in the in this in this uh, in this presentation in in our conceptualization um zombies technologies are technologies that try but very badly try to conciliate both futurings both imaginaries of uh, the future uh, and and this lead to technologies that are at the same time living with, and dead Le why living because they live all the uh, apis apis all the uh, all the texts that we are going to design for example during these uh, days on happy days uh, or uh, in the startup uh, com or competitive polls all around the world are going to engage the world financially, ecologically, politically, and so on. So they, they, they are creating irreversibilities. They are creating uh, worlds that are, are very, very, very concrete, that are very material, very, really real in, 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 in a sense. But at the same time, if we uh, analyze and uh, uh, if we make uh, some uh, audit or, or evaluations of their materiality and uh, ecological um, compatibility with planetary boundaries, they are dead in, in a sense. So uh, this is zombies technologies, technologies that are at the same time Live, living technologies and at the same at the same time dead technologies. Please next. So of course uh, the challenge I think and we think at Origins Media Lab at the closing words initiative is to suggest a new framework, a new paradigm, and this new paradigm should be the main paradigm in our opinion of uh, technological innovation or technological initiatives. Um, if we try to synthesize both uh, propositions, in the transition paradigm, we have an implicit uh, concept, which is that there is an horizon of conciliation that is naturally possible and more than this, even desirable 
between development and ecology. And this is the main, um, the main uh, constraint that we should follow. No ecology with no develop economic development. And at the same time, no economic development without ecology. In the paradigm of redirection, the, there is a trade-off that is necessary. The trade-off horizon, in, in a sense. The conciliation first of all passes by an alignment of the organizations, institutions, technological projects, innovations with the planetary limits and the ecological environments. And secondly, there may be not a perfect conciliation. And this is something that we need to be very lucid and, and, and to be very clear with that. There will not be a perfect conciliation. But if we want to create the, condition, the real conditions of transitioning, we need first to align our organizations, institutions, projects, innovations, and whatever, into the planetary limits and boundaries. The second point is that in the transition philosophy, the transition is technically possible, and in particular, without renunciation. And on the redirection, ecological redire redirection paradigm, redirection is technically impossible without renunciation, without what we call protocols of renunciation. And this is very, very difficult to, to implement in organizations because we think that organizations are really leaded by a very implicit and very crucial central philosophy, which is to open words, to open innovations, to create, 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 always create something, always uh, implement something, always, always uh, uh, in, in an entrepreneurial uh, philosophy, of course. Third, the transition leads to optimization engineering. The problem of transitioning is a problem of means. The, the capitalism, the system now, is not so bad. The problem is comes from a, a bad way of uh, giving energy to this model. And of course, the, the, the problem will be energetic an energetical problem for the transitioning paradigm. So this leads to an optimization engineering, which is the obsessional uh, uh, philosophy of uh, modern engineering. Our proposition with the ecological redirection is to shift to a, um, a, an engineering of closing, arbitration, uh, trade-offs, reassignments, and so on. Uh, uh, we call for an art. Yes? Diego, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I need to make the timekeeper. Uh, we still yeah. have a minute to conclude and, and go to the Q&A session. Yeah, I have for uh, one minute left, and that, that's OK. And, uh, the, and, and finally, the transition goes through innovation and the project. And our proposition is to shift uh, on a paradigm where uh, we defend desinnovation, renunciation, desincubation, desinvestment. So please, the next one, and which is will be the, the, the final one. Uh, we can go beyond. OK. So uh, for example, one of the main projects that we are connecting now uh, for this year is to create a desincubator. What is a desincubator? Is it's a it's a framework. It's a place. It's a it's a project uh, where uh, the main objective is to align technologies, techs, innovation projects on planetary boundaries before coming uh, zombies technologies. Every innovation and entrepreneurial project should be analyzed through the lenses of Earth system sciences and democratic climatic protocols for example, with the uh, citizen conventions or whatever. And finally, to experience protocols of renunciations inside the world of technology. So uh, our uh, conclusion is to, 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 to give a, a, a place to this disincubator, disinnovator philosophy in happy days. So let's try to keep in mind all uh, these days that uh, we try to fight zombies technologies uh, uh, also in uh, this kind of conferences. Thank you very much. Thank you, Diego, for that. Uh, I will stop sharing my screen. So uh, let's move to Q&A. We have, we have one or two minutes. Um, 
So uh, I understood that we need to change paradigm. So um, I saw I saw a question from Mehdi. Is your disincubator the anti-singularity university? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and and, and and that's why we need uh, we need uh, financial funds for this. So I I, <laughs> I use this opportunity that uh, given by Medi for calling to 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 people from the technology world to finance this anti singularity uh, university that we try to to build. Yeah, thank you, Medi, for the opportunity. Great. Okay, so thank you, uh, Diego, for that. I think we do not have uh, any more questions, and now it's time to to move to the next uh, uh, next talk. So thank you, Diego, and thank uh, you for the invitation. Thank you for your talk. Thank you.